We should have transplanted these when they were just little babies, about an inch tall. Uh, but because now uh, one thing or another happened, the soil wasn't ready for us up here. I didn't have a place to put them until now, so now they're too big. But I think we can get them to grow. All right. Okay, go ahead and water that one. I do this uh, transplanting. First I plant the seeds and we could show them over there. We plant the seeds all close together in about a three foot strip. Um, heavily seed it and then while those seedlings are just starting to grow see before I had summer plants growing in here and I had to have a little bit more time to um, to get the plants going before I got the soil ready so that that's why we're transplanting them instead of direct seeding them because it, this way it gives me more time to um, get the summer plants out of here before I get the winter plants in but if I planted the seeds now it would be getting too cold for them to grow uh, by the time they came up so so the transplanting we've got them they're already going pretty good and then when the cold weather gets here they'll they'll still be able to grow okay but they probably wouldn't come up from seed very good mm -hmm. yeah they have to be planted in the evening or at night um, best if we can do it during a rainstorm or in cloudy weather but we've been having um, sunny days now and, and we're running out of time season as the seasons change so I'm risking this on, on sunny days but by planting them in the evening like this it gives them a chance to get adjusted overnight without the pressure of having the sun beating down on them yeah yeah it's important to to get them in at night for that reason. And even that, they're having trouble adjusting for the days that we've had lately, okay, because of the, the intense sun that's happening in the afternoons. And, but now the sun's down behind the mountain, so we have a better chance of, of, um, of making it for the evening. And then uh, they're gonna be uh, stressed pretty heavily tomorrow when the sun hits them again. But a ideal is try to get this all done on a on a rainy day, and then they grow without skipping a beat. They do real well. Can you can you just picture kale skipping beets? <laughs> <laughs> okay, filling up. <laughs> 